hello and welcome to the channel once again the name is guru boy here in today's video do you have an android device right over here which is the motorola e20 right over here which has been on google account verification and um, this is due because after doing factory reset or hard resetting the device you have been prompt to verify either your previous password which got you to reset your device and you will be prompt if you do not know your previous password you will be prompt to verify with your google account so if you not remember the google account which was being set on your device or forgotten the password you can try resetting the password and try it if it will unlock your device so if you can un not unlock your device with that process you can follow this video to the end and i'll show you all the basic steps that you need to follow by first moving to emergency double click on emergency and click on the pencil now click on the name as shown in this video click on choose image and you'll be taken to your file manager then click on the three lines on the top right corner click on drive click and hold and you'll be taking to app info of drive click permission and now let's search for let's search for or um, click on permission and let's search for settings type in settings and after typing in settings click on search and you will see settings in the search and click on it and you'll be taken to the app info click on open and now you'll be on your settings move to app app and notifications now move into app info click on app info and you will see all the apps click on the three dot and show system apps now let's um clear some cache and first stop some apps like first one we first stop the address setup now when you do first stop the Android setup, move to the Android setup second app and first stop it. And you should see your recent key and home key showing. And the third app that we are going to first stop is the device setup, which is right over here, somewhere here. Just locate it and turn it or first stop it. Click on it and first stop it also now let's move back to the app menu and let's go to we see google play service that's the last app that we are going to first stop and disable it so after first stopping disable the app and now let's move back to the um, startup screen or the lock screen if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure to subscribe and give a like if you are enjoying this video and you are following the instructions of this video now let's click start and you will see that getting device ready now it says copying device data don't copy and you should see this just a second and after you see checking for update and it will start looping so when you see this just hold the power key hold the power key to you see the power menu so just click on emergency from the power menu and if the emer emergency do not show up just keep trying till you you are able to assess emergency make sure to do it quick as you can keep trying and you you first move into emergency and double tap on emergency info do this real quick and if you are able to get into emergency we will enable um google play service so let's try it again let's try it again by pressing the power key emergency double tap okay i'll try it very fast okay so we've successfully able to enter into emergency so let's do the same procedure as we did to disable the google play service now let's hold the google drive and um, go into permission and search for um, settings as we did previously to disable and first stop some apps and now let's go through the search list and we will see the settings open settings um, move to applications and notification and here we move to application info scroll to you see google play service keep on scrolling and if you do not see google play service make sure to click on the thread dot and show system 
and you will find your Google Play service. Now let's first stop it first and now enable it. Now let's move back, back, back. If you are enjoying and able to make it to this point, make sure to give this video a like because you've successfully unlocked your device. So when at this point, you have to make careful, be careful on pressing the key. This is the last back key that you press. Mm, do not press any back key. And you can see we are now under Google service. Just accept the terms and proceed further. And one thing I did notice right, right over here is do not set passcode because if you do try to set passcode from this point, um, the passcode will not be registered onto the device. So do not try to set passcode. You can either click on skip and proceed to the next step of the setup procedure. And as you can see, it fails, so it throw me back. So just make sure to skip when you are being prompt to set up screen passcode. You can do that when you are finished setting up your device in settings. So let me do set the device and um, if you are able to make it to this point of this video, then you've already activated your device. So please make sure to like the video and give a comment or leave your comment in the comment section. And you can see with this unlock, you do not need to download any specific app. And you can see we've successfully activated our device and we can use the device as it was previous before we got this device being reset so you can see um everything works settings and even even you can even enable developer option and you can see the device is moto e20 and if you are enjoying please make sure to subscribe to the channel and you can see developer option is working that's it for today's tutorial on Android OS unlock. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. The name is Boroboy. Peace out.